So, welcome back to part 2 of the Simple Inventory RPG series. We're gonna build and work on this new art piece that we're working on. And today, we're going to create a potion. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be simple. And I explained it in a couple simple steps in which we use the pen tool which you can align or hit with P. In this third part, we're gonna do this same item, but we're gonna use the shapes and things to learn even more. So. Let's like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have fun boxing, guys. Let's get started here with designing it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the health potion with Ctrl C or just right clicking on it. And I'm going to create a new document, which I'm going to create in the same size as we got here. So it's going to be 250 by uh, 250 in size. So let's create it. You're going to go into Avinity Designer, you're going to go to New. And we have presets, in this case we want to do a custom on the pixels with a size of 250 by 250. We could also go a little bit smaller, especially since the item is a lot smaller. So in this case I'm going to say 100 by 100, which is a durable size. The DPI, you're going to keep that to 300, which is super easy to remember. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go with a transparent background, so you can work on a transparent background without having an, an annoying background um, that you have to render out. And the next thing you're going to do is press, uh, press OK, and we have a transparent background here. So I copied my item, as we remember, and which we have over here, but this is way too large. It's way too large for our little canvas that we're working with. So I'm going to scale this down to position it inside the canvas. So the normal way I do work is you guys remember if you're a member or a f um, longer subscriber is I make a model or use a interface which we're going to use as an example to create our item and I want to show you guys that as simple as possible so if we open the health potion you can see that we have all sorts of curves here we have um, the, we have pretty much the ellipses we have the spares uh, there is a lot in there and this is not going to work in making it as simple as possible. Instead, I'm going to show you guys how to do that exactly using the pen tool, which is pretty much the simplest way of getting certain things done uh, by just hovering over an object. But what you can use then is we can use the knowledge that we achieved in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select P to select my pen tool. I want to select out of these items. And what I'm going to do before we do this is I'm going to freeze this item over here by clicking the little lock icon. This means that if I want to uh, select this item so I want to select it I can select it but I can't select it in the item here which is going to be really helpful with making the design so we're gonna do P and the first thing we're gonna design is basically the blue shape around the um, item so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the biggest part here which is right over here and I'm gonna put a dot over there and then we're just simply gonna go down so I see that right over here down in the bottom if you use control and just use my scroll wheel i can zoom in i find another point i can either use shift to have a straight line or align it with the dot which i want to do because i want to have a little bit of a difference in there now we can see that we have a stroke on which is something i don't want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on stroke and then i'm going to select the little icon with the red stripe in it which basically removes the stroke so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to click away press ctrl c now i basically want to get around this other part if you're not sure how i'm moving around i basically hold control and then hold the middle mouse button to drag around and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to mimic this position so i'm going to go and put a dot over there and then i'm going to put a dot pretty much over here and later on we're going to use the node tool and the corner tool to create corners on those edges so we're going to create more than one point so we can create those edges so when you're around such a corner you're gonna go all the way to the right again to get that first starting point and then you're simply gonna go around those edges to create a new line that can be used by the corner tool that we're gonna use in a second so I think I'm, I'm good here and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom all the way up back to this point where we've been in like a little bit 
a little moment ago. Now we can see that right here, I'm making a change, but the um, and there's been a little change here. And one of the things I'm going can do is just simply go over here and on the line it becomes yellow and click in some extra points, which I want to use as extra points later with the node tool to put out there and to align nicely with this item. So then I can go back over to my main points and select that. And now I can go all the way up to the point where I want to set up my less points. And from there, I can simply either use shift or press on the less dot to connect these with each other. And that's basically going to make my little form. So what I then can do is I can either fill this color or right over here, you see a on the right, you see this little icon. If we hold that and drag that over the outer part. We're basically creating a color. And if we then select the color, we create our island that is going to go around the square square. And you can pretty much see that if we get away this item, we are on a distance having quite a nice form there. The next thing that I want to do here is I want to drag this item oh, under the health potion. I'm going to drag it outside of the health potion and then under it so I can go and create this new item. So what I can do then is I can go into this second box. Okay, so what we're now going to do is basically repeat the same process as the background of the potion. So you're just going to go all the way around. I speeded this up so I could show you guys exactly how that goes, but not having the exact same progress for like 30 seconds to 40 seconds going on over there. So basically just use the note tool by pressing P to simply go over all the things. Um, in this case, the pen tool, my bad. So basically use the pen tool by pressing P and create the wall item. select those items we can see that we already created kind of the id we can see from a distance and this is a bottle that gets that id because we have the top part still on there <laughs> so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to drag these back the next thing that i want to do is i want to go and create this red part and as soon as the red part is done we're going to focus on the head part and the shading is going to get uh, at the last point so let's get started with the red part it's basically the same progress over and over again so you're just going to repeat the same steps over and over i tried to do a little bit of a more detailed look here but it was way too hard so um or not too hard but mostly time consuming which i thought was not going to be the best use for you guys so what i wanted to bring into you guys is this being a big part of the tutorial still being done so if you haven't done so yet make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell already liked the video and of course making comment there's much more to come so don't hesitate it's still coming and we have a improved thing going or coming in the next tutorial in which i'm going to show you guys the same progress using shapes so we're not using the pen tool but we're using shapes so let's continue on with the tutorial as it goes and dive into the future me or the, the past me that is going over the tutorial with you So it's time to create the next part of the bottle. It's basically the same progress. We use the P to use the pen tool and then we create the wall progress. So do that right now and then let's continue into the next part. So now we're able to dive into the next part, which is going to be the tip. Basically this little close off cover, which is going to close off the bottle. It is basically the same exact progress again. We're just going to hit P to click or to get the pen tool. We're going to create all those simple lines and when that's done, we're going to start at the shading. So I'm speeding this up and when it is done, let's come back to the video and continue on. You can simply pause the video and then simply continue on when you're done. And now we're simply going to repeat that progress again. So we want to make the shading and what you simply can do is put up the shading part, the shading image that we want to create and put them around the shapes and you can quickly create the shading. So this is quite an easy tutorial, quite easy to learn. 
and there's much more to learn so what i want to do in the next video is show you guys how to do this using shapes which is going to be super fun and super easy to do so this is also where it's going to round off the tutorial where we're going to end it it was been a long tutorial it was interesting and in the next tutorial we're going to be implementing this potion and maybe one other potion but who knows into build box and we're going to see how that is going to work and we're going to see if we can set some functionality up in which this is going to work together into one item so before we end up this video what i want to i want to ask you guys is if you can subscribe to the channel that will be super much appreciated as there's a lot of work that goes into these videos you can also support us by just clicking the like button and if you read the description you can find a download link to the potions and to the art that you're going to be needing you can find a link to our discord community where you can find easy help and all this kind of awesome stuff and of course don't forget to bring in a comment with what you would like to see animation 3d or whatever till next time and have fun boxing guys